What's going on YouTube? Back out here playing around again. As you can see, I've got some more uh, containers, painting them all up. And uh, one of them is this oregano container, gigantic container. Uh, I got a couple of those. I got one of them right over there, spray painted black. And this one, I'm gonna go ahead and make that one up. Um, see right there, I did the lid too. Pretty much don't have to, that's like uh, pretty, uh, I don't know. Well, maybe you do have to. I mean, it is white plastic. I guess light can get through. So I guess that was a smart idea to go ahead and do that. But I went ahead and did a few more. I uh, got a couple experiments I want to try. I've got one with two there. It's going to be for my peas. And then I've got those six there. I'm going to go for the broccoli inside. They're all going to go into hydro. And uh, mainly the peas because they drink a lot of water. And their tap roots get pretty big. So they're going to go in there. And uh, yeah, so... This is what I got going on so far. I got three of them ready. Uh, like I said, three, three, and two. And then I've got this one. Uh, one of these is gonna be for my Reaper uh, that's sitting on the windowsill. And the other one right there is gonna be for my Mako because they are getting very big and they drink a lot. So uh, it's about time to get them a, a bigger reservoir. I don't, oh, right on my paint I just painted. Um, I don't have anything smaller than that except for the stuff I was using yesterday. So uh, this is kind of like next step up. I got to go to like one gallon containers here because uh, that's what I got. So, all right, I'm going to take this thing apart, drill a hole in it, and uh, paint this guy up so it can be ready for, uh, with all these other guys. And then we will uh, take a stroll into the grow room and check out all the stuff and uh, plan it all out. All right, those guys are outside drying. I'm not doing an aquaponic update this week, but uh, as you can see, there are some green things growing here. More importantly than that, let's focus right up on there. Can you see those little guys right here? These two little guys, indigo rose. So my plan of just letting them fall, um, produce three. I've got two right there. And let me see if I can find the other one. There it is, right there. It is this little guy right there. You can just barely see him. He's pointing towards the camera. Didn't even really open up yet. So I, ooh, neat, oh. Is that, look at that. This guy's not even in. Sweet, I just came in here to grab one of them and I was gonna go ahead and uh, transplant it. I don't even have to dig. Woo, how about that? I do have to pick this guy up. So sweet, all right, I'm gonna, Set that guy right down there, and yeah, now I'm going to go to the double cups and throw them into double cups, and hopefully my stuff is done being dry, we'll go back to that. Alrighty, we're back here in the grow room, and I've got my uh, containers here. Uh, I've got my Carolina Reaper that has been hanging out. Oh, look, don't look at it. I'm going to do an update on it on Monday. But uh, yeah, my Carolina Reaper um, and the roots... Uh, there's a little bit of roots there. Well, actually, yeah, if you can see there, there's actually a bunch of roots starting to pop out. So now it is going into this one container here. Oh, wow, look, it looks so much bigger. Um, and my Mako over here, which is flowering like crazy. I mean, there are flowers, buds, pods, everything all over this thing. This thing has a nice little uh, root mass growing underneath there. And it is going into this one. And they're going back underneath the LED out in the kitchen. I don't know what the pit bull's doing over here. Just wandering around in circles. What are you doing over there? Nothing? Okay. Um, my broccoli. Um, there's a gigantic bunch of broccoli that I had in there. There was uh, eight in two cups. There was three in one, five in the other. So I went ahead and separated them. Hey! I uh, only have one in each of these cups now. And the other containers are back here. And I've got the other uh, six broccoli planted out back here. Well, actually five. One of them's missing because if you look down in there, you can see like the bottom, I don't know, quarter, not quarter. Um, I was going to say like quarter inch, but maybe maybe smaller than that uh, amount of water going into the net cup. And uh, I was just using that for reference. And now the final one. Um, oops, make sure its roots get into the water. Um, but yeah, so now I've got all of my six broccoli in uh, Cracky Hydroponics. Uh, this was Master Blend. I believe it took three 
it might have been four and I haven't touched the fourth gallon uh, gallon but like three gallons to fill that one over there with the peas in it um, I kind of uh, put them out of the light almost and then kind of like angled them back into the light so they can keep growing um, if you can see yeah, some of these leaves are like kind of drying up on the bottom end right over here same thing that is because they drink way too much master blend than i can give them that's one reason i was doing this so hopefully the new reservoir will help a little bit um yeah and now the broccoli is all in there and now i have these two broccoli right here that i just need to give a little bit of master blend to and they're ready to go back underneath the uh, grow lights and as crowded as it does look in there if you can see the sea of uh cups there that is nothing i'm going to uh i'm gonna completely have this thing <laughs> completely full by the time it's ready to put everything outside but uh oh and uh the peas over here i didn't uh take them out of the cup um they i said it in the past they're going out in the aquaponic garden sometime soon so and i did see the catfish out there today i fed it and uh it was very happy all right well that was a very long-winded uh walk around here check this out man my reaper and my mako and their much sturdier uh reservoir <laughs> although it uh does have quite a bit more uh liquid in there but uh yeah anyway i'll go through these guys on monday thanks for hanging out with me checking out more hydroponic stuff just did some yesterday and now look there's more now um so yeah uh throw me a thumbs up down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button come back and check out what the root growth is going to be like on these guys the broccoli versus the broccoli we got the double couple uh double <laughs> the double couple uh the double cup method going right here so when the roots actually make it through the uh uh, first cup we can actually start seeing what they're gonna do I'll probably do some spacers and stuff like that and we'll do that versus the cracky over there man okay there we go I need to get an air stone in one of them that way one is uh, air stone deep water culture one would be cracky and one would be double cup there we go all right I am going to go ahead and grab a bubbler hmm why didn't I think of this earlier might as well give a P the bubbler, too. All right, let's do that. Hang on. Alrighty. Now we're back. I've got two uh, hose lines going in there. And I've got my little air pump suspended here, hanging off of, uh, you know, the chains, well, and wire that are holding up the lights. And that way they are above the uh, water because I had it on the floor. And if the electric turned off, the siphon would siphon the water right back through into the air pump. So, you know, in case uh, you don't feel like, uh, you know, doing the correct thing and putting a check valve in there like I didn't do, you can just put it up above. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so we got the peas back there. They're looking good. And we've got these broccoli right here that are uh, now, uh, I guess, a deep water culture bed, and we've got the cracky. So we'll see which ones take off. Uh, one other fun note. So I've got my one air pump up here, and uh, that is because this air pump over here, I plugged it in first. One of the lines didn't work, and I thought it was my air stone. And I even went out and grabbed another air pump uh, from the greenhouse. Uh, I didn't know I had this many air pumps just laying around. Um, but I guess uh, that would be the case uh, with all the aquaponics before I got that gigantic pump I have out there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my past videos uh, with the aquaponics. That was, oh, I don't know, a year and a half, two years ago, something like that, where I got the giant air pump out there. But anyway, that's where we're going to leave it right here. we got the peas over there and uh, half the broccoli in uh, deep water culture, the other half of the broccoli in uh, cracky style. Everybody with Master Blend, the other two have left. They've gone back out to the LED light in the kitchen. And uh, they actually fit perfect right out there right now. So, all right. Well, I'll come back and show you what else is growing on around here. Because we've got a whole pile of stuff uh, that's just popping up every single day. So, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can come back and check out what else we've got growing on. Uh, this pit bull over here will probably make another appearance. Will you, doggy? You gonna make an appearance maybe not no she will 
Anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment down below for the pit bull. She loves that stuff. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Till then. Later.